We are in the Ingenious Wireless AP Mesh Cam. I'm going to show you how to set up the wireless section. So this isn't just a camera. This is also an access point. So just like any other access point, you can go in and set up the wireless portion. You can put in the device name if you want, although that's not the broadcast SSID. That's just the device itself. So you can just go ahead and leave that just as it is. Uh, then you can go to where it says 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, and you can change the operation mode if you want from access point to client bridge or to one of these other options. And I have other ingenious access point videos that explain what all that is. So you can check that out. Uh, under wireless mode, you can go BGN or you can go any one of these options. The less numbers or letters you choose, the better off you're going to be. BGN is not going to be as powerful as if you just choose N or just choose G. And that's because there is some uh, cross-contamination between the different types of wireless that you see there. You can go ahead and leave the channel HT mode to the default 20 megahertz. Unless you're having issues, then you can practice or play with those other ones. Leave the channel to auto. I recommend that. Uh, although if you want to, you can certainly go in and change it and try some things out. The only real channels are 1, 6, and 11. Every other channel is just an overlap of 1, 6, or 11. And data rate I would leave to auto, et cetera, et cetera. So go down to where it says wireless settings, and you can go to uh, where it says the edit button and the SSID. So go ahead and change the SSID to be something you would like, and we'll just call it family. AP. So that way we know it's our local access point. You can go ahead and click Edit. And under Edit is where you can set up the security. So you don't want to leave it to Disabled because that would not be a good idea. So I recommend the WPA2 pre-shared key. That's going to give you good security and it just uses a password. Change from the default to AES which gives you higher security. And under the pass, uh, passphrase you can go ahead and put in whatever it is you want. Make sure you put in some letters and numbers, some upper and lower case. And down here, we don't have a radius server, so don't worry about that. Uh, we can enable fast roaming, which allows us to switch from one access point to another more quickly, which is helpful. We're not filtering by MAC address, so let's go ahead and when we're done, we will click Save. Now we can do that same thing again on the 5 gigahertz side if we want to add 5 gigahertz access, which is the newer uh, of the two, which gives you a little bit better speed. So you can certainly go down and uh, set that up as well. And that's done by going to wireless settings 5 gigahertz and clicking on the SSID, give it a name. You can call it family AP5 for 5 gigahertz or whatever it is you'd like. Click edit and then go through the same procedure. So that's how you set up the wireless access point portion of the Ingenious Mesh Cam.